Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about arrays uh, in C. So let's talk about arrays. So arrays are basically a collection of data, data of the same type. Okay, so you can think as a list or a vector if you want to. So let's say that a um, arrays are very good to, to store data. And they are very helpful when working with uh, loops, uh, which we're gonna do. So you guys need to have understand on how this works. So let's say that I have, uh, let's say numbers, and this is going to be an array. So I do this, and I can uh, initialize an array like this, uh, zero, one, two, and three, uh, and I can print um, some number, for example, Let's print the first number. Um, I'm gonna do this um, and numbers. Okay, so numbers. If I print numbers, I cannot print numbers, guys, because numbers is a array. If I try to compile this, let's see, I should probably get an error. Uh, I didn't. So we have this output because this is not valid, but um, for example, if I want to print the first no, uh, number, I need to call the square brackets. In between the square brackets, I need to put an index. So the first index is the number zero, which uh, corresponds to the first number. Let's compile this and let's execute. So the first number is the number zero. Uh, actually, just zero, but because I put the percent D between square brackets, I'm seeing this. If I remove them, I'm only going to see the number. Let's uh, compile again, as you guys can see. Okay. So, if I want to see the second number, I'm going to call the index one. Um, for instance, let's change it just to uh, two, five, Eight, two, five, um, seven, twelve. So now the second number, which is correspond to the index one, is five. So we should see five here, as you guys can see. Uh, seven is the third uh, index, or um, the index two, which corresponds to number two, which corresponds to number. Uh, uh, the index uh, three. So you guys can see seven. So this is how you can work with arrays. Um, there's not much uh, more about them. It's just that you're gonna use them when working with loops, and we're gonna see that um, soon. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.